Let's do some uh, car vocabulary, because, I mean, that's a really useful vocabulary to learn. So, uh, not just the word cardo or colche, depending on whether or not you're in Spain. If you're in Spain, by the way, it's colche. If you're in Latin America, they're going to say cardo. But I want you to know kind of the ins and outs of the most common and useful car words. So, right now, like the steering wheel or the wheel, you're going to say volante. And... By the way, this volante está roto, meaning it's broke. That's why you'll hear that clicking noise. So that's a great uh, word to know as well, because if something's broken, you want to either say roto or rota. Uh, rota is for feminine words, roto is for masculine words, and you're going to use the verb estar with it. So está roto if something's broken. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, window, typically, at least this is the way it is in Venezuela, uh, you'll say vidrio because Ventana, the other word for window, is typically for houses. And I believe I've seen other people in other countries say vidrio as well. Mm -hmm. So if you want to lower it or raise it, lower is sub, lower is bajar el vidrio. And subir el vidrio would be to raise it or to roll it up. Another big one would be emergency brake. Um, se uh -huh. dice freno de mano. Which is handbrake. Which mm -hmm. is in English we also say handbrake. Okay. So you don't really say freno de emergencia. That doesn't really make sense in mm -hmm. Spanish. You would just say handbrake. Freno de mano. Uh, we have radio, which I want you to kind of explain that, Andrea, because radio is radio, mm -hmm. but when is it feminine and when is it masculine? Like, when is it la radio? When is it el okay, radio? So el radio is when you are talking about the physical thing that you use to play music. Like, uh -huh. this is el radio. Okay. La radio is when you're talking about, like, um, like when you listen to the radio. Yeah, like, let's Like, let's the radio play, station. Let's play the radio. Let's play the radio, yes. Um, uh, eso sería, that would be la radio. Mm -hmm. Poner música is how would you you'd say play music. Uh, if you want to tell someone to play music, you would say pon música. Um, you could also, in your car, you probably charge your phone a lot, so cargar el teléfono. Another one, the brake. Mm -hmm. Frenos. Freno. Um, the gas pedal. To brake, like the verb to physically, like to brake is frenar. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, if you're about to crash and you want to scream to your friend, brakes, you can say frena, like brake, stop. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a good one. Gas pedal. Uh, Acelerador. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. But if you want to say speed up, like that was a big one. I didn't know how to say speed up. You would say acelera. Basically just accelerate. Accelerate. Um, you could also, if you want to tell someone to slow down, like if they're driving too fast, you can say baja la velocidad. Mm -hmm. So lower the velocity or lower yeah. the speed. Um, cinturón de seguridad. Seat belt. The seat belt would be belt of security basically yeah. cinturón de seguridad that helps me to like because these are words that are easy to forget so mm -hmm. to help me remember my kind of just thought like what is it what's the literal translation in english sometimes mm -hmm. that would help yeah uh, asientos del carro we don't say sillas for car seats so we you say guys more asiento. like uh, silla is chair and you never say car right. chair you say car seats so it would be asientos del carro los asientos del carro hopefully your car has some air conditioning so it's Aire acondicionado, mm -hmm. air conditioning. Uh, and that's just the word for AC. And it's in literally general. air conditioned. It, yeah. It, it literally. Mm -hmm. But uh, heat is calefacción. Calefacción. Calefacción, sí. Okay. Sí, calefacción. So with an e. yeah. um, and, ho and I'll have the words on the screen anyway, so you, if I mess up, mm -hmm. <laughs> there, there they are. Uh, let's think of what else. Um, La puerta is pretty easy to know. Um, Glove compartment. Se dice. Um, Guantera. La guantera. La yes. guantera. Literally, glove. Like we're. Glover. It's a literal translation. <laughs> the what? The Glover. I don't the know. Glover. Like, yeah, like yeah. la guantera. Mm -hmm. It's a little weird. Um, so, uh, a lot of times. La I, capota. La capota is the hood. The yeah. hood is called la capota. A lot of times when I get in a new car, I'll be like, hey, do you have a, a charging cable or do you have a cord to charge my phone? I'll ask, ¿Tienes un cable para cargar el teléfono? O tienes un cargador. O tienes un cargador. Is, do you have charger. a charger? You could also say that. Um, but I think that's really like the main words that I use in the car. That's good like to your know. everyday words. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I mean, a lot of these words for cars can be a little confusing, like with the difference between siga or asientos. Like, which one do I use? Use asiento. 
to turn is a good verb to Cruzar. Know. Cruzar. Uh, which is why the turn signal or the blinker is señal, señal de, de cruce. cruce. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, uh, to start your car, prender el carro, apagar el carro is to turn off the car. Mm -hmm. uh, the keys are las llaves, of course. And I think that's about it. If you guys have anything that I might have missed, leave a comment and uh, asking how to say something or if you want to ask if you're saying something right, let me know in the comments. But yeah, appreciate you guys.